Here's a quick video tutorial on how to update the testimonials on your Carrot website. So here's one of our, our demo websites. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and there's the right sidebar which once again we have video tutorials on how to edit your right sidebar here. Just look in the help section for sidebar and you'll find some videos there uh, that'll show you how to edit these banners, how to edit this, all kinds of stuff. What we're going to show you how to do is specifically on testimonials. So you can see here on some of your websites by default you've got this little section that currently says here what others have to say. This is what we call the testimonials area. And there's some settings that you can change in here uh, that to really customize it. You can, you can change this right here so you can change the title of it if you want to. You can of course add in your own testimonials and or delete the stock ones we have for you. And you can also change how this testimonial engine acts. So do you want it to rotate through testimonials? Do you not want it to the whole thing? We're going to show you guys how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your system and you're going to see your dashboard and go ahead and what we're going to do first is we're going to show you how to actually update your testimonials, the content in your testimonials, okay? So you're going to go ahead and go to dashboard, go down to testimonials. Click testimonials. This is going to take you to your testimonials page and you'll find some testimonials already uploaded into your website likely and you can choose to use them or choose not to use them. If you don't want to use them, it's really, really easy to get rid of them. All you have to do is go ahead and check the ones that you do not want to use. So there's this little checkbox here. Let's say we don't want to use this, this, uh, this Robert Kiyosaki one anymore. Okay, check mark the box, go up to bulk actions, move to trash, and when we click, click apply, that's going to move any uh, testimonial we have checked here to trash. Okay, so we have this one checked. We're going to move this one to trash. Go ahead and click apply. So that's, that deleted that testimonial from our testimonial uh, rotator. So the next thing is, let's say we want to edit a testimonial. It's really simple. All you have to do is find the testimony you want to edit and click it. And it's going to take you inside of the testimonial edit screen. And this screen looks very familiar to you. It's the same type of screen as our lead pages and as the, the pages and blog posts. And there's a few extra little options in here. So number one, in your testimonials, you can actually put pictures in there. You can put videos in there if you wanted to. You could put all kinds of stuff. Just keep in mind that, that whatever you put in there has to be small enough so it fits in this little area. Okay, so you've got uh, a space here that's not extremely, extremely big. And, and our system does not shrink whatever you put in there. It puts it in there at the size you have it in there. Okay, so you can see here we have a picture of Barbara Corcoran that's extremely small. What we did is we uploaded the picture here, then we went ahead and clicked the image editing. We kept on just shrinking that image down with this image size deal. So if we wanted to shrink this down even more, we would go ahead and click one of these. So let's say we wanted to shrink it down to 60% of its current size, click that, click update. It's going to shrink it down. So make sure you just shrink things down to where they fit good and they look good in this testimonials area. If you want to put a video, same thing. Just make sure that the video settings are small and that will that it will go in there and then from there just go ahead and type whatever you want to type in whatever you put in there is going to be put right there so if you wanted to put a link to their website in here awesome you can do that the content is yours to, to, to do what you want to do with down here there's additional settings and this is where you can put the testimonial author so I'm going to go back here and you can see this right here so where it says Warren Buffett that's where it grabs that okay you can see that one as well that's where it grabs that it grabs that as the author and it puts it underneath here so it's a little bit darker. Testimonial URL. This is optional, but if you want to put a, a URL in there, so it could be a testimonial from your uh, lender, your, your mortgage broker, and you wanted to put a URL back to their website for credibility, you could do that. Okay, um, And that's it. And you go ahead and click Update, and your testimonial is updated. If you want to add a new testimonial, it's the exact same process that I just showed you there, except, of course, your page will be blank. Uh, at the start, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Add New, and we can just put anything we want to put in here. Here's my awesome new testimonial, okay? Carrot okay, guys, go ahead and click Publish, and this is now going to put that testimonial in your testimonials list. Okay, so now that we've edited testimonials, you can see that one right there. Now that we've edited testimonials, I've shown you how to do the content on testimonials really easily. What I'm going to show you next is how to change the look and feel of your testimonials box really easily. So if you don't want this in here, you want to say something else, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to change how this rotates through to different testimonials, we're going to show you that right now. So the place you're going to go for that is you're going to go down to Appearance, hover over Appearance, and go to Sidebar. And anything in the sidebar that you want to manage, 
the look and feel of or the action of, you go to this sidebar area. And then go ahead and open up this primary box if it's not already opened up on your end. Yours might look like this. Just go ahead and click primary. And that's going to open up this box with your what we call widgets. And you can see there's the image widget, the subscribe and connect, and the testimonials widget. And you'll see these on the sidebar. There's an image. We uploaded that with our image widget. There's your connect with us, and here's the testimonials. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this testimonials box by clicking it. And here's the title. So you can either choose to have a title or not. So we put here's what others have to say. If you want it to say testimonials, you can do that. Okay. And then you can put how many testimonials you want to, to rotate through that list. Right now we have a limit of five. But let's say you have ten testimonials that you want to rotate through. Just go ahead and change this to ten. And it's going to rotate ten testimonials through that list. And now here's some different options. Uh, the effect, right now we have fade set on, so you can see as these rotate through, it's going to fade out, and it's going to fade back in. See? Fade out, fade back in. You can choose different options. So let's say you want, want there to be no effect. It's just going to switch right over, no fade at all. I think the fade just looks good. And then the auto fade duration. So when do you want this to happen? So every, we have it set to be every five seconds. Right now it's rotating a testimonial through. Okay. If you want that to be longer, make it longer. If you want it to be shorter, make it shorter. Um, all kinds of different little cool things. Enable pagination. All this means is do you want this little thing right here to be there so people can manually click through testimonials if they want to. We put it that way because I think it's kind of useful for the user. But you can choose to turn that off by clicking that. Do you want to display the author? So if you didn't want the author's name down there for some reason, go ahead and check that off. We think it, 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 it is a good thing to have it down there. I'm going to go ahead and re-enable these, click Save, and you're going to see now this title is going to be called Testimonials when I refresh over here. Let's scroll down and find it again, and you can see now it says Testimonials, and there's that testimonial that I added in there. So that's a quick tutorial on how to manage your testimonials, how to add testimonials, how to manage the look and feel of them in your Carrot website.